Welcome back to the channel. What's really good? How y'all doing today? How you living? <laughs> so what's good? Um, plans for today. I wanted to bring the BMW outside, get her all washed up. I haven't really washed her or you know wiped her down anything fully ever since I peeled the plastic dip off of it, which took forever. But I wanted to get a lot of the residue off, wash it off. You know, even though it's not running, driving, driving right now, still I take care of her. So. You pull off some of the side skirts, some of the body panels that come off, push her right outside, and give her a wash. And then after that, put start putting together some parts of the interior. I got a couple parts that came in that one I've been had that I should have been pulled in, but it's probably ain't going nowhere just yet. But um, yeah, and I got a couple other pieces I'll show you in a minute. So let's get pushing this car outside and yeah, let's get to it. All right, so now, now that the car is outside, you can see it in a better light. I mean, she ain't the prettiest. This is the side that needs the most work. Obviously, you can see down there. Just gotta get sanded up. Thin layer of some uh, Bondo. Fix all in here. A couple little cracks, fix that, and then paint it back up. Before I wash it though, I do gotta plug up these little hairs. I gotta put door handles on. I got them in, I just don't wanna do them because they're a pain. So I'm probably just gonna pay one of my boys to do it. <laughs> All right, let's get the stuff we need to wash the Kia. Also need to wash the daily later. The daily is filthy. Look at all that pollen. I don't know if I can see it on the camera, but that's probably gonna get washed later too. Let's get this done. Ooh, love to see her outside. Yes, I'm doing the other side too. I just want to record it because I'm pretty sure you're not to wash that car. Cool, cool. So, all washed now. Now to dry her off. And I'm a one man bank. And um, kind of forgot to dry or wash some towels. So, with my one towel and a blower, we're going to do this. <laughs> So, got it all washed up. Now you can really see some of the imperfections. But I do gotta go back over the top because there's a lot of still that residue from the plastic dip. But, man, all in all, I love this car. So, now let's get to the interior. All right, now, move on to the interior. Let's give an interior part list. Now, as you guys possibly, you've seen before, I had the red bucket seat, but it had the wrong seat bracket for it. This seat bracket was for like a first gen RX-7. By the way, anybody want this? Let me know. Not like I'm buying a first gen RX-7 anytime soon, but um, don't got a whole lot to put in, but just a couple little pieces that came in, so why not? Boom. All right, so yeah, one door panel, but Got the other one up there for just for mocking up purposes because I am going to take the door panels back out just to put the actual door handles in. But got that fire extinguisher, found a neat spot to put that. Got a planted seat bracket for the E36. Cool little cup holder thing that uh, Pat gave me. 
So I include that too. Cause I don't have any cup holders. My little cup holder thing, I don't know where it went, just disappeared. Nice shifter, short shifter. I think I showed this up here before, but we're gonna install that. And I got a nice switch panel, which I'm just gonna mock up and try and figure out where I wanna put it today. I had some ideas before, but I'm not sure. So we're just gonna kinda play around in the interior a little bit. But let's go. All right, let's get this seat in. Not gonna lie guys, off camera. Took a little bit to get that up there, just kind of test fitting. So just notice, know that mm, forewarning, we got to do a whole lot of test fitting in and out the car to see which bolts holes it goes in for your you know, car or where you want it to be seated. I kind of offset it a little bit towards the driver door because the way the pedal set up and this whole tunnel area just feels comfortable. So. Let's put that on here. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get some bolts up there just to loosely fit it. Snug with one bolt. Just so I can kind of see and feel. For the last time before I bolter and bolter in. I mean, I can always take it out. All right, look. <laughs> Let's not discuss this. This I took this wheel off of the Accord. So I'm not hating not having the horn thingy. So I'm gonna get a new one, a new wheel in general, but bear with me. But nice room on this side. Nice room on that side. Actually, I should go get the, yep. Gotta take that back off. Cause I forgot the seatbelt. I do want to get seatbelt harnesses. I'm sweating like crazy. Ish. Sheesh. Do want to get seatbelt harnesses, but um, so then, gotta use my safety OEM seatbelt, whatever. So, gotta get, take that guy. So, two seconds. So, of course, BMW being BMW, it's some weird cable type attachment drawn. I'm not even about to bother. I'm gonna just figure out how to do harnesses on that one seat, or I'll go to the junkyard and just get the buckle from another car, match it up, see if it works. But, so then, seat's in, so let's get her the bolts in. And, yeah, be back. Woo! It got real humid real fast outside. But, let's move on to the next thing. Fire extinguisher. Need that to pass tech. <laughs> so this is a cool little spot that I found where to put this. And let's move this seat up. Right there. See those three little bolts? Alright, so it used to be this like little ABS module square thing right here. So remove that. Left three bolts, right? It was kind of long. So I screwed these down. Screw them all down, cut off, shave the top a little bit. Then you, the reason why you put it down so you can clean the threads as you take the nut off. Take the nut off, right? And yo, I swear it's a thing with my ashy knuckles. I'm gonna make a shirt and say support ashy knuckles, lives matter or something. <laughs> all right, so you take this off. This is the holder for the uh, thingamajiggy, right? Boom, boom, look at that. Fits right there. Well, actually, you didn't need to take this third one off. I'll just be an extra. Never know, might come in handy someday. But, boom and boom, right? Get that back on. Let me go get it. All right, got a 10. And, oh, it's so hard with this not folding up and getting back here now. <laughs> okay. on there just like so ain't really going nowhere oh 
we'll mess with it. If it still feel like I want to go somewhere, I'll put like a zip tie here or something to hold it and then just make sure I always got the zip tie to clip. <laughs> well, zip ties are easy breakaway, so boom. That's number two. Seat, seat, red on red. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else what we got from the pile we can put on. Uh, let's do this. Mock up these. Come back for that. That will do last because we got to lift up the car. All right. Great. Yeah. This little guy. Cool little JDM Japanese computer. Let's take it. Hmm. Right there seems like the spot. Let's put these in high right directions. Um, glad they show pictures because yeah, reading that 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 would be awesome. <laughs> so just put those little tabs in, and okay, so it's these things. Uh, come on. Okay, cool. Easiest mod I ever did. Easiest mod ever done. <laughs> oh, throw that stuff in the trash. Now, as far as mocking this up, had an idea, right? Had my push button start here. Got the whole little harness that goes to it. Hook that up later. Thought that would look clean because, um, yeah, gonna be doing that to that. Well, dual feature, whatever. But so I figure a push button start would be cool right here. Then have my switches right here also, feel me? So it's like, boom, 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 start, whatever accessories else is up here. I thought that looked cool, because I had uh, little toggle switches, but I wasn't too keen on that. I like, I like things looking good, so. Put that right there. However that fits put that in there and then I was gonna get the three gauge pod thing holder that goes right here so it's like boom look I want to stay now but boom 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 air to fuel coolant oil temp and oil pressure get a dual gauge same ones I got for the uh, Accord the white Accord so boom that'll be nice and clean and I'll be the interior and then like I said later we'll dip to the shifter uh, after this probably uh, Check out, see how the door cars look up here though. Not gonna put on that one. Just that one for now. Like I said, just wanna mock it up. Cause I still gotta put the door handles on. Yeah. I wanna see if I can upgrade these little speakers. I don't even know how they sound. They stock though, but. All right, so this gets held on by a series of two, well not a series, but two of these little eight millimeter bolts here. And then a series of clips and little things all around. So kind of just gonna put it in with the two little these to see how it looks. It's actually my first time seeing how it looks in there. Getting more and more complete. It's the motivation.
So, I got the little pockets for it too, and so it all fits in nicely, but just in general, I think it's looking good. Let's see from the other side. Yeah, it's starting to look more like a complete car now. Yeah, I'm, boy, listen. When y'all see me out here, y'all gonna see me out here. <laughs> All right, let's keep this ball rolling. Let's get this car back inside, jacked up, and getting that shifter. Okay, so this is the shifter I got. The, I mean, minus the boot. But <laughs> this is the shifter I got. Got it off eBay, don't judge. It's a short shifter, adjustable at the bottom there. Sandwich plate design to go between, you know, that little hole where I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna just mock it up, and then when my girl comes home, she can kind of help me out and get it screwed up. I mean, that's if I can get it screwed because it four bolts. We'll see how it goes. All right, so next day, um, phone died, but yeah, and I didn't feel like waiting to charge it up and come back and court, but more or less, back at it, about to put the shifter back in. Yeah, yeah, done. Yeah, 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 we all set. Okay. Like I was saying, <laughs> but, um, about to put the shifter in. One thing to know about the shifter is that, see this little hole here that goes into the selector rod? You have to drill those out. Now, it took me a long minute to figure it out, me trying to twist my hand over the dry shaft, forcing it in, but figured it out, looked it up, seen other people had the same problem. So now this should drop in. Pat's gonna give me a hand. Oh, I yeah? am? Yes. Please? Yeah, I got you. Okay. <laughs> and because I gotta drop the bolts up top and screw it, but yeah. Drop this in here. Now make sure these bolt holes are like that. And they go like that. Just like that. Take this plate here underneath. You're gonna pass these through the top. I gotta get you the Allen key for this. And I'm gonna hold this and you just, you know, turn and wrench in it. Okay. Right, cool. Be back. Javon, uh, did you talk about your new addition to the garage? Yeah. Got the right tools? Yeah. I think. Well, here yeah, it does. One of these should fit. These down on both. Key things. Alright. <laughs> I just went all the way through the tide of that. Right, yeah, so. Let's get to it. So swapping these little flat washers out for locking washers just to get that. A little extra strength. Bolts don't lock. These are locking nuts anyways, but still. Don't know what you get stuff, so I'd rather take extra safety precautions and extra steps. Yeah, especially with a chef there. I don't want me. Yeah, the whole thing just fly out your window. <laughs> no, you wanna grab that? I just, just flew up on the highway, huh? <laughs> Alright, here you go. I'm gonna put these right here. I'm gonna go underneath and there you go. You wanna start passing those bolts through soon? Sure thing, sir. Yeah, I'm not really good at vlogging and uh doing car stuff guys, so bear with me. Now nah, they're gonna watch a struggle. Oh. All right. Yeah, guys, I'm an idiot. This whole time I could have just took the boot off, but I chose not to yeah. be a hard head. Yeah, yeah, we good, bro. All right. Well, actually, hold on, me uh. Which one you want? Same one? Yeah. 
right? Yeah, you don't need that one key. All right, hold on, let me get the Allen key in now. Yep. What's the next one? The first one we did? Yeah, I'm that. All right, I'm on it. You know what's one thing I know about these cameras? What? They really make your hands look crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely gotta go to the salon, get right. Oh, oh, Alright. There we go. We got it on. Nice and sturdy. I gotta actually sit in there. Let me see. Try to feel it from the side, feels weird. Yeah, that ass. All right, so get in here now. Now that's all adjusted. Oh, we reverse that in these again. Oh yeah, up yeah, there. there I was like, we reverse that, but there you go. You can hear that. Oh good. I like it. No six gear yet. We're gonna wait, but. I mean, you the driver. <laughs> nah, it feels good though. It, it feels crazy sturdy. Now, just to know, when you do these, I do have them. Just not doing them today because I'm gonna wait till I do my oil pan and do the whole under drivetrain refresh. When you do a chassis mount shifter, you have to have to upgrade to solid mounts, either the solid bushings. The billet ones, solid polyurethane, whatever, but you have to upgrade your solid mounts. But, yeah. <laughs> Bye, man. But that's pretty much for today. So, cover the seat. Well, today and the other day. Cover the seat, putting the shifter in. We're going to work on getting those switches done. Got a little fancy cup holder. And that's about it. So. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Definitely trying to get this up within the next month or two. Gotta drive it, street drive it, whatever I do. I got my car ready. Where you at? Uncle, look now. Yeah, I'm slack. But I'll get it together. Let's get it. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned to the next episode, vlog, channel, whatever. Catch you. Peace.